Illinois in on the front row. Looks like Danny Lazowski is going to jump in front. Oh, I'm sorry, that is Loyette. He's going to jump in front on the first lap. Well, that's Loyette, last night's winner, Lazowski, Dom, Levi Jones, Jerry Coons, Jr., and Brad Coon. Once again, early on, Brad Loyette opens up about a two or three car length lead really quick off the corners, just like last night. I think we are on about lap four, and he is in lap traffic. Now he's going to be forced to go up on the high side and brings it back down. Gets by one lap car. Once again to the outside. Lozowski having just a little bit more trouble getting through there. And Lozowski just about spins it out, but saves it. And we've got one upside down. And turns one and two as the yellow flag comes out. Well, folks, we got six down, 34 to get, 34 to go. Still Team Loyette up in the front. And we got Zach Dom, Levi Jones, Jerry Coons, Brad Coon. Zosky looks inside. Not going to happen as Loyette gets off that corner really quick. Now up about mid-track, up off the bottom here. Partially on the cushion, kind of lets it drift in about the apex of the turn, hits the cushion, and brings it back down, this time all the way up against the cushion. Probably trying to use as much of that good track as it can while it's there, and we've got one spun out. And it looks like we're going to add maybe another three laps. Light to it. is out. Getting ready to go again, I believe. Nine down, 31 to go. Loyette, Lasoski, Dom. Now Coons in fourth. Levi Jones fifth. Brad Coon in sixth. Once again, the two orange cars up here racing for it. Lazowski going to make a move in front of the boss. He gets it momentarily, but Loyette dives back under Lazowski. This may pull Loyette down off the top. Lazowski can make it stick just one time. As he gives way to Loyette again, I bet you Loyette goes to the bottom. He goes mid-track. Go up against the cushion. Same move again. They switch places here in three and four. Now Loyette will go to the bottom. Now Lazowski to the top. Dom still there in third. Coons fourth. Coon in sixth with Levi Jones holding down the fifth spot. The only one running there on the bottom. Could be a poach in 15 laps. Once again, Loyette, Lazowski, Dom, Coons, Levi Jones, looks like Jones now, is about to move into that third spot there on the bottom. He's got a lap car ahead of him, so this is going to completely change what happens right here. If he can slide up in front of those one of those cars running around the top, he might be able as he does right there, slips in between Lazowski and Dom. We're going to have one roll over down here. Got over Conley coming out of turn three. Possibly. We're getting close to lap 15. No scoreboard. Just trying to keep track in my head. But lineup is Loyette, Lozowski, Brad Coon, Jerry Coons Jr., and Dom in fifth. Lozowski to the top. Loyette to the bottom. And they've opened up about a five car length lead over third and fourth. Coons and Coon. Brad Coon 
And Coons get together. Brad Coons slides through there. Hope it doesn't cost him a tire. We'll see. In the meantime, the leaders, Loyette, we got one spun out right here. Here we go again. Uh, Team Loyette. The Orange Crush still in the front. Loyette in front. Lazowski second. Brad Coon third. Now Shane Cookham moves into that fourth spot. Gary Coons in fifth. Man, everybody has dropped to the bottom now. You can see. We're going to pile them up and we're going to roll another one over down here. Things are starting to get a little dicey. Well, we're going with the green flag, and I think the laps remaining just about match the number of cars as we've got 11 cars out of the 20 starters still on the track. Probably tired of hearing this, but we'll run through it again. Loyette, Lazowski, Kuhn, Cochran, now Droud, Jerry Coons in sixth spot. Ryan Clausen, the only one up around the top as everybody else now hugs the bottom. Protect themselves on that left side so nobody can sneak down under them. Droud looks to get under Cochran. Cochran, but I don't think he's going to make it. In the meantime now, Team Orange, Loyette Lazowski, pull out now have about a four or five car length lead as they go through three and four. Flagman has the white flag out and it is thrown. One lap to go. Loyette, your leader, Lazowski in second. Loyette is going to ride that firm. Going to be Loyette, Lazowski, Kuhn, Cochran, Droud, Coons. And that'll be your top six, but your winner on night two, just the same as night one, is going to be Brad Loyette. His 21st feature victory of the year, Lazowski in second, a close second, as they pull away from this field here for the full ring nationals at Kemper Arena. Ten grand. Plus the five he won last night, so that's going to be about a $15,000 payday for two days' work here for Loyette. Well, folks, uh, this is going to conclude the Bull Ring Nationals here for 2009, and we hope to see you down the road at another racetrack. Folks, here we're the winner of night two, <laughs> Brad Loyette. Vlad, uh, man, you are the man. All I can say is uh, two nights in a row, uh, big money, led green to checker tonight. Uh, quite a race. Yeah, wow. Uh, $10,000, 5000 yesterday. Uh, I never thought I'd make that much money in two days of my life. Uh, it was awesome. I got to thank my guys, uh, Rick England, Tim England, working in the shop with me all week, getting these cars ready. It's a true testament of how uh, hard we work in the shop, finishing one, two with me and the dude. Uh, Flea Ruzik, I mean, you saw tonight, we were obviously the class of the field. The cars were hooked up. Uh, Got to thank Dan Esslinger again. Motor was good off the corner. I think it's two wins in a row for him with this motor. So uh, thank him. Spike Chassis was running good. But uh, just glad to be here. It's a great event. Pays a lot of money. And uh, it was fun. Like you said, anytime you two got out front, you just pulled away. The two cars were definitely too fastest on the track tonight. Yeah, they were real good. Uh, Flea Ruzik, I mean, uh, from a year ago to this year, like I said last night, this is the most fun I've ever had racing. Uh, the guys I got around me are awesome. We have more fun than any other team, and uh, winning is always a plus. I was going to say, I think I heard you mention earlier, the only way you can top this off now is to go down to the Chili Bowl and win that thing. Yeah, I think if I win the Chili Bowl, I might as well retire, but uh, I probably won't. But uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully we can. I think the biggest thing we want to do there is uh, get all five of the cars in the show and show everybody what type of team we got. Uh, I think we're really underrated. Uh, we obviously don't have the big backing like some of these teams do. It's uh, just out of my mom and dad's pocket. Uh, it's a big family deal with us. We're all here, and uh, it's it's awesome. Yeah. Well, folks, if momentum has anything to do with sports, this guy's got it going, believe me, because he's heading into the Chili Bowl with two big wins. Brad, congratulations. Thank you very much.